talking to Brandon last night. He sent me a picture of a ram. Looks like a good, solid ram. Looks like he might be in trouble this morning. Put him to bed last night. And sounds like the hunter's pretty excited about it. So, made a game plan and on our way down to see what we can make happen. And I like our chances. Morning, sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I just got off the freeway. Where do you want to meet? Yeah, he looks pretty good. Heavy, long. <laughs> you might be in trouble, buddy. night Manny glassed up a ram about five o'clock yesterday afternoon um, here in this little short canyon um, we went and sat on him watched him till dark um, made the decision last night that we'd come make a hound out of him this morning um, we got Steve Hallbrook here from Southern California and we'll got Brian and Manny that are out on point this morning for us um, Kind of just hang out here, uh, wait for the sun to start peeking up a little bit. Figure right now we're probably about a thousand to fifteen hundred yards from the sheep, so we'll work our way up the bottom of this canyon and hopefully cut the distance, you know, three to five hundred yards. This will complete my sheep slam and put me one shy of the super slam. So, pretty excited. North American 29, yeah, the number 28 if we get him.
up. He's coming down the hill. You're on it, thank you. We're shooting. Dead ram. Dead ram. I lost him in a recoil. Did you see that? Well, there's dead ram, boys. What did he do? Just fold up? Yeah. Oh yeah, crumpled him. What do you think? How you feeling? Oh, I got bigger bucks. I tell you what. Woo. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> what did we figure the yardage was? 440. Yeah. When me and Jesse was over there, it was 468, I think. Oh my goodness, my knees are wobbling. Oh yeah. You just kind of see a hoof. That's a hoof sticking up right there, that white dot. <laughs> what time is it? Um, 750. They <laughs> shot him at 745. <laughs> I'm just sitting here now trying to pick a way to get up through there to get to him. From shooting light to the time we killed him was maybe half hour. From when I picked him up, because well, of the way the ledge lays, we were 12 minutes to kill him. <laughs> to get this up, to get over here and get this, was per down. this was perfect. The way you set that up, and then when you start walking, I just got up yeah, higher on the back. That's why I picked this, because I initially went and laid down over here between the rocks. Yeah. And like, if he starts going, we're just gonna have to move. So then I come and kick the hole right there. I just jumped the gun up on that higher part of the back. I said, I'm the luckiest son of a gun that ever lived. I've been hunting since uh, 16, 71 years old on last Sunday. And uh, I'm not used to shooting. I mean, I've made a few shots over 400, 500, something like that. But I tell you, he looked pretty small in that scope. I was nervous about it, but somehow I held her steady and, and got him, you know?
Thank you.